But I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking right now. I finally have lost it. I'm uh, reviewing a roll of toilet paper. You're thinking I finally lost it. Well, guess what? I lost it 27 years ago. Don't judge a book by its cover. Because if you look at this, the weight of it, and you look at it, you're saying to yourself, this is a hell of a fucking roll of toilet paper. Looks can be deceiving. Upon further investigation of this, first off, the brand of this, I won't mention it. I don't want to discredit anyone's brand, but it's uh, their local brand. It's not local, it's national brand. They stand behind this. But upon further investigation of this roll, further unraveling, you take it apart. And what at first looks to be a very heavy-duty toilet paper turns out to be paper thin. I mean, it's like, it's like nothing, paper thin. So that's why it looks like there's so much paper on the roll. It's nothing but real thin. You have to not double it, not triple it, quadruple it. And if you come home drunk one night, you might get a handful of shit. Your hand might be full of shit because you might think you're using charming. So like I say, this is uh, strictly garbage. It's a one-time purchase. You live and learn by it. Like I said, I won't give you the brand name, but uh, this is a store's brand. And uh, look at that. Look at that. That would be how much you'd have to use, right? To wipe your ass, because if it didn't, your whole hand would have shit on it. I'm telling you. It's paper thin. That's what it is, like I said. So that's my review on this. I wouldn't recommend buying it, and I won't give the uh, name of the company out there or the store that I purchased it from. But uh, I think you guys can figure it out.